good. I hope he still goes to jail for some explicable. <laughs> <laughs> He should go to jail. Yeah, he should go to prison. For ratting on himself. Yeah. yeah. For ratting on himself. Well, dude, you, you always hear about... What a fuck face. <laughs> yeah, what a piece of shit this guy. I'm telling you, I'm not rooting. It's so not easy to root him. for this guy. Alright, this is a very, very simple story. But it's actually a nice one. For once. I love nice stories. Finally, dude. So Chase Bank... Accidentally deposited fifty billion dollars into some random guy's account. <laughs> Accidentally? Fifty billion. Billion. Fifty Whoa. billion. That's in. Oh my god! I can't even fathom that number. Why is that a nice story? This guy walked away with it. <laughs> Did this guy take out ten mil and just like leave the rest and just fucking Ooh. disappear? No, he honestly gave it back. So what's the good part about? Did he call like customer service? Para español number two or whatever, right? And you're like, yeah, my account is really. Like big. No, the <laughs> dude's so honest. Like him and his wife were like, oh, "This isn't our money. We shouldn't keep it." So they they contacted Chase and said, "Hey, there's a bank error. All this money came in out of nowhere, and they just took it back." I guess what this is did. better than the story of uh, a crypto exchange who accidentally refunded like ten million instead of a hundred dollars, and the woman bought like a house or something. Oh and my uh, god! Now the company's suing her. Right, because if you keep money yeah. that's not technically yours yeah. when it's given by mistake, you're it's theft, right? Well, I feel like uh, how many stories have we covered where somebody gets a bunch of money from a bank and they bail. Something? Yeah, and they All bail, the and then they get uh, fucked over even harder just because they took the money. Well, so. it's because they bail stupidly. They just move to the city like next yeah. over. You what would to, you do? You gotta go to the fucking Philippines or some shit or Vietnam. You gotta go to a country. That doesn't have extradition with the U.S. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Like thinking like a fucking man who's done some research. The nicest <laughs> country that doesn't have extradition. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean Lebanon has like inflation right now, but your dollar's super strong. Go to Lebanon, see? Lebanon. Go to fucking Lebanon. <laughs> where else? Hey, where? Hey, real quick. Where's but Lebanon? the extradition <laughs> stuff, they could still assassinate you there. And Chase Bank got a lot of money. <laughs> What's the nicest country that doesn't have assassination? I don't know. I don't know. Well, nowadays, I mean, dude. Like Assassination is privatized. So. Yeah, you just gotta go to Lebanon, dude. I just get an identity change because I miss my friends, you know? You gotta get, like, plastic surgery. Yo, I feel like, Joe, if you if you went off the grid, I think you would have a really fun time with your new character. I know, but I'd miss you guys, though. No, I know, but Joe, I think Joe would actually make it off the grid for, like, four days. And then? <laughs> just, I'm back, guys. Honestly, he's just lived so well. Four days? I think he's just lived too well. Yeah. I think he would miss the fucking spoils of life. Yeah. Totally I just miss my friends. But you could s send signals, and then your friends wow. could come to you. We, if we, if you guys learn smoke signaling, I'm not gonna learn smoke signaling. Oh, you, yeah. know, you know smoke signaling? <laughs> no, but I'm saying that's something we should learn. We should learn smoke signaling. Check it out. They got an actual that's like crazy. visual oh of my God. Fifty wow. billion accidentally appearing in your account. That's too many zeros. I've never even seen that many zeros in and my the, life. And and the hold has been removed. Look at that. It says an account hold has been removed on your fifty billion dollars. Yeah. So you're now free to spend your fifty billion dollars. Enjoy, <laughs> sir. Have a good day. Dude, that's so crazy. And then the next one is hundred and ten dollars. <laughs> <laughs> We're it? laughing at him. Did they get a fifty dollar Olive Garden gift certificate for this? Dude, That's they didn't get anything for it. What? They just took the money back. That. Cause then Chase isn't allowed to tell you where that money really came from, uh, for respect to the privacy of who's ever. Yeah. So there. someone made a bad transfer. Something happened. They didn't. They, they're not even. Uh, they're not even allowed to say how it happened. They typed the wrong number when they're zelling the. Phone. They were basically just like, "Oh, thank you for telling us." <laughs> yeah. Dude, this couple goes to the bank and they take a lollipop and then they sleep and they they, they keep looking at the lollipop and then like, I should give it back. <laughs> <laughs> and they go back the next day and they fucking bring and they they sit in forty five minutes of traffic and then they bring it back. <laughs> what if you just don't tell them and you let it sit there for a year to see what happens? And if it's there for a year still, then I'd be like, finders keepers. Well, yeah, the yeah. crazy thing is, it, it was actually there for three days. That's Holy too long. Holy shit. But that That's was after, so immediately he told them, hey, this isn't my money. It took three days for them to get it back. So he could have still yeah. fucked with it, but he chose not to because, you know. What a good he's thing. honest. Good I hope idea. he still goes to jail for some explicable <laughs> He should go to jail. Yeah, he should go to prison. For ratting on himself. Yeah. yeah. For ratting on himself. <laughs> Well, dude, you, you always hear about- What a fuck face. <laughs> yeah, what a piece of shit this guy. I'm telling you, I'm not rooting. It's so not easy to root him, for this guy. They asked him like, hey, uh, what would you do with that money if you know they didn't take it back? And he said- What a bullshit question. Here we go. What a bullshit Here question. Why yeah. are you gonna ask him that? You're gonna love his answer then. He That's said, fucked up. I would bless other people to give 
people hope that there is positive in the world. That's what my biggest dream is. I want to punch the shit out of this bitch. No, here's what's guys a fucking Hallmark card. The one guy who should actually get $50 billion doesn't get $50 billion. Know, That's right? the joke. Yeah. That's not him. Okay, maybe, maybe we don't give it to him, though. That's him. That guy's that whack, guy. man. I don't know. That guy looks like he murders people. Why did they exactly. give? Why did they? Use why? Yeah. Why this photo? Why that photo? Yeah. <laughs> that guy's this dude. is the kind of guy that fucking has a wet dream and he like apologized to his wife for cheating on him. <laughs> exactly right. You should. You should apologize. He gives her blank <gasps> divorce papers. Yeah. I'm so sorry. I'm a good cheat on you. <laughs> yeah, he looks like a nice guy. <laughs> and it's crazy that he's a, I believe he's like a, like a realtor or something. So you wouldn't expect, yeah, he's a real estate agent. Well, he needs money. Fucking the interest rates are going up like crazy. These guys. Yeah, no one's buying houses right now. Oh, but he had a <laughs> former job in law enforcement. Doesn't mean oh. shit. I know so many dirty cops. But that, but that means, that means that he knew that it would be theft. Yeah. Because you know, people can kind of claim, I didn't know, I thought it was what? Well, I thought it was my 30, 50 billion yeah. dollars. Dude, ask me, <laughs> ask me anything about my last job. I don't remember shit. <laughs> <laughs> you forget about Dude, your last you, job like that. <laughs> <laughs> he forgets about everything being a cop. Like, Man, I would I love to see Bart at a job for like a day if we could film it. Yeah, like, like Bart working at Sports Authority or some shit. Yeah. <laughs> I love the or he works at a cubicle. The way that they <laughs> illustrated this amount of money, they were like, this. the article's like, yeah, he ended up 10 times richer than Richard Branson. That's pretty crazy to put That's it in that perspective. Right. Like, really? Oh, well, it is billion. Who's moving that money? Billion. Dude. Who's moving what? that That's money? The more Who doesn't that, know for three days? Is that government money? That's the thing. They don't know. That's. I mean, but banks just you... print shit, dude. Yeah. Do they? Well, yes and no. So, so, so <laughs> technically, this is how it works, right? Federal Reserve says, "Oh, okay, you could, you can, you can have this money that you're gonna borrow from me." Meaning, like, um, Chase, they'll take this money from Federal Reserve. You're only, you only have to have like 10% of that. It's zero account. now. Is it zero now? It was zero for a while. Oh, I'm not shit. sure if it still is. Well, I'm outdated, but basically, if they give you that 10 million or whatever, you could times it by 10 or whatever the fuck you want and keep loaning that money out. So they're just printing it based on that collateral. Yeah, but what's it backed by? That's what my uncle would say. <laughs> American tanks. Yep. So that's good enough for me. Hey, did you guys hear the petrodollar has just got a little weaker? Oh, really? Yeah, China's moving out of the petrodollar. Go figure. China and Russia is now buying shit through, what, rubles? Or are they doing it through yuan? I think they're doing yuan. yuan, yuan. yeah. That's the, said, is that the first time? Yeah. Where, yeah. Damn, that's wild. Because Gaddafi got fucking killed yes, for trying to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, he sure did. But I guess China's untouchable now, huh? Damn. Gaddafi wanted to unite... Uh, Af or, yeah, he wanted to unite Africa, yeah. right? He was like, all the OPEC like, guys. He was like, we should have a United States of Africa. Where we're all working together, and we can take all our resources and pool them, and like, make our own currency. And then we came in and killed him. And then our State Department brags about it. Literally brags about it. We came, we saw he died. And then, no Gaddafi. The way he died was brutal. They actually televised it. It was fucking insane. Those videos are still probably up on YouTube. Like they, um, <laughs> they they graped him with a knife. Yeah, it was fucking crazy, but um, and his friends and family and every it's just a little example crazy. just for those of you who want to you know yeah. maybe go against the world order. Good luck. Well, <laughs> it's very motivating. <laughs> That's probably why I That's fucking a gave the money message. back. That's yeah. scared. China's so are you telling me to or not to? <laughs> New world order, dude. New world order. New world order. What's one of those countries yeah. though that are like they're a part of the new world order, but they're just like kind of like the they're passive members. Cousin. Yeah, is it the Scandinavian countries? Is it like New Zealand? Like like the people with Canada? neutrality? Because that those are the places we could probably go, you know, where it's like, you're not a big attent, like it's like America's got too much attention. Well, a lot of billionaires like Peter Thiel, they, they, they either like have homes in New Zealand or like they're trying to get like a passport there or something. Oh. New Zealand. Yeah, New Zealand not totally sure say. why. But a lot of billionaires go to New Zealand? They have like their like, Emergency escape plan yeah. to like go Whoa. to New Zealand. Yeah. I would go there. What's too. going on over there? <laughs> Not sure. It is pretty isolated. Dude, New Zealand's That's sick. Yeah. They did a uh yeah, they were super isolated doing during COVID. But then everything was open because there was no in and outs. Yeah. yeah, some guy got arrested for fucking buying KFC or some shit. I think that was in Australia. Australia. Was it not that was New Zealand? Like they, like he he broke curfew and then fucking drove past oh, the. Really? It was Australia, yeah. yeah. I heard yeah. Australia yeah. became super police state. Yeah. Australia was wild. Yeah, they were. Wild. Yeah, they they got pretty crazy. New Zealand's chill, dude. They're a bunch of Kiwis just fucking kicking. It's nice to be on an island. That's where yeah. Kiwis come from? 
Yeah, dude. Yeah. Well, that's what you call them. The Kiwi birds, too. I got a buddy who was living in Australia, and like, probably a year and a year and months after we were all like done with like COVID lockdown y stuff, he was like showing uh, me and my little group um, pictures of food that he had just gotten a restock of because they're going into another lockdown. Like oh it was like that God. over there. Yeah, it was crazy. Holy shit. Crazy. Damn. So authoritarian over there. But probably for the best for the citizenry, so they're all nice and safe. 